How you guys doing? Better than I deserve. No, he's still oh, living the dream. dream. And that's mine. Yeah, living the dream. That's my favorite. Mm. Cooking up some good food this week. What are you cooking? Oh, man. Today, <laughs> or yesterday, I did my <laughs> take <laughs> oh, man. on fancy Native American <clears throat> food. Fancy Native American Smoked food. the whole chicken. I do that. Made... A How's that Native American? Wojapi barbecue sauce. Are, which, you, are you native? <laughs> yeah, technically I am. Which one? What tribe? Cherokee. Yeah, me too. Um, one sixteenth. I, uh, I don't I know am. what I am. Well, you don't. Uh, my like seventh great grandpa was a um, chief in the Cherokee tribe in like Alabama. Seventh. Somewhere. Seventh. Yeah, seventh great. I think. So like great, great, great. Yeah, yeah. Great, seven times. Great. great. Great yeah. grandfather. His dad was um, English. Mom was um, Cherokee Indian. I'm pretty sure yeah. I'm some kind his of name's pale like, European. Like, like his name is like John Smith, like legitimately, but like and something or chief? another. Yeah, he's a chief. He's, he's, and his he's, name he, was John Smith? Wow. I think you're thinking of the Mormon guy. No. This day in American no. history, no. history, history. It's Joseph. Pretty cool. I it's have Joseph uh, Smith, mm-hmm. not John. I have, uh, actually have it here real quick. I keep it in a. I got an email about it from that my huh. mom sent me. Yeah. Chief, uh, oh John Watts, yeah, yeah. seven eighth American Cherokee, one eighth Somerset, England. There he is, right there, boys. About as real that's deal more, as it gets. I was gonna say it's more legit than you were describing. Yeah, yeah it looks like you. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Can you see? I see it. Yeah, I see it. So yeah, yeah tech. Yeah, I am. So I made a wojapi Team. sauce, which so is a. So you can do what you want. I that is like say a say what you want, do what you want. Yeah, it's like a berry barbecue sauce. That's okay, all that is yeah. So it had that little. Um, and then I made um, uh, what do you call that? Wild rice, like legit wild rice, roasted <clears throat> butternut squash, and some like grilled corn. So let, me, let me ask you this: Do we think Sound like Thanksgiving? That, do we yeah. think that they're on the plains making barbecue sauce? You never know. Well, Cherokees so. weren't from the plains. They got brought here by the by a, the white man by uh, Andrew Jackson. Mm. Okay, well, whatever, wherever they were, where were yeah. they? They're out east, I believe. Yeah, east and south. this was like in Alabama. Yeah. Okay, Alabama. They're known for the barbecue. Okay. Yeah, that's See? fair. That's fair. See? I mean, yeah, that's fair. They, they I mean, know they what's up. They all weren't okay. from Oklahoma at one time. You should go check out uh, and be a, a, a restaurant called Native, and uh, that's what it is. It's like yeah, Native I've American. fancy Native. Native American food. And they do. That's where I learned. Eastern learn buffalo. some of this stuff. They do. Yeah. Bison, technically, not a yeah. buffalo, but a bison. Yeah, get it right. Yeah. <laughs> Tatanka. I learned that <laughs> off of uh, Dance with Wolves. Tatanka, yeah. Dance with Wolves is good. It's a good movie. Long movie. Kansas. Bro. Yeah, part of Kansas. It's an outpost mm-hmm. in Kansas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a true story. I like Westerns. I like a lot of Westerns. I do too. Older Westerns. Yeah, me too. He's got that new one. Who, Kevin Costner? Horizon. Oh, I did see it, yeah. I think it's like two-parter, like two three-hour oh, movies. Like, uh, what is that, Gone with the Wind? or No, yeah. what was that one that was like, yeah, anyways. So crazy headlines? Let's do it, man, crazy Let's headlines, and then like to discuss your new idea, because this, this, I do. we I need kinda, a new idea. We do, I think we got one. Some we'll, freshness. We'll oh, we have ideas? Yeah. No. Oh. I, I don't, Lucas does. Oh, good. I mean, yeah. st- I haven't There's had time to think about a ideas. a lot of things bothering me. No, no, that so, has to be. A we regular. haven't done that one in a while. We gotta do. Have you thought of some? I mean, I got one and two right here. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, but um, nope, nope. Do you Definitely need to see you put like a little sticker on that? Yeah, that was that it? Yeah, that yeah. was it. Yeah, it's this roast fest. Mm-hmm. Adam and Anthony roast. I like it. Double yeah. A yeah. roasty. Yeah. All right. So, do you want me to go first? I got some. Yeah. Let me go first because mine aren't that good. Yeah, mine sure. aren't either. I'll, I'll build yeah. it up to you. Okay. All right. All right, sure. <laughs> You'll build it up. Yeah, I'll go in the middle. Yeah, okay. Mine are bad, too. All right. Am I just doing my top two? Or are we just doing two? Yeah, yeah. whatever. Kansas yeah. Zoo, <laughs> Zoo evacuated amid attempted bear escape. So I looked into this. This is Independence, Kansas, which is right down the road. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right? it's not far, right? A uh, Kansas Zoo was temporarily evacuated when a brown bear apparently decided zoo life had become, wait for it, Unbearable, and attempted to tunnel out of his enclosure. <laughs> so the bear was trying to get out. They had to evacuate the zoo, and did he get out? I think they sh- tranquilized him and got him back in there. But so this is like he's like I mean, this is a small zoo. Shaw, Shawshank it? Redemption bear. That's a great movie. It is. Um, yeah. So bear escaped. You had to get out of the zoo. 
but everything turned out okay. Mm. Yeah. Kansas had Good. it under control. I kind of want him to get out. Just let him, he want to be free. He yeah. wanted to see what oh. was on the other side of that. Oh, what kind of bear was it? Little brown bear. Yeah. Little brown. Harmless. Yeah, harmless. You still shouldn't right, hug right, him. Right. You shouldn't hug yeah. him. Yeah, tiny. I he's tell my he's kids, more scared of you. Don't hug him. You just. All right, you can go my next one. Bears. Yeah, let's do it. Roof Ninja. <laughs> Did you guys have this one? No, nope. but I like it. A woman, <laughs> <laughs> a woman found living inside a shop sign what? said it was an old safe spot. So it was like an old grocery store. I think this was in Michigan. And you know how they have the big signs on top? Some of those like stores, department stores. Like the big that. letters? Yeah, that's what it says. I'm telling you what, it's got to be true if it's on the internet. Dude, 34 I year this. old had a coffee maker, computer, bedding, phone, and even a printer in a Michigan supermarket roof sign. Lived there for over a year and a half. The sign was five by eight feet inside. So she, how did you get power up there? I don't know. I didn't read the whole article. Man, I'm impressed it's crazy. by the headlines. How long did she live there? A year and a half. Dad, oh. that's impressive. How'd yeah. she get cut? I don't know. I didn't read the whole thing. It was supposed to be crazy headlines to make you want to read. Oh, you didn't click? No. You get, you know, that's when they get that's how, track, track, that, oh, track, you know. I clicked. I got to find that one. That one's kind of interesting. Yeah. All right. You believe that, though? They would have put all kinds of conspiracy theorists on his computer. Yeah. Oh, clicked yeah. It. I did a I did a poor job. Take, um, take you to. I uh, actually kind of forgot we were doing this. So I'm, I did find a couple, though, while we were. Oh, you take you taking mine? Yeah, you're doing the, you're doing that's the, all right. Go ahead. I got. I don't have to. No, no, take it. Go. I found this one to be good though. <laughs> I know. You guys, you just find the first one that pops up and. Read well, it. this one happened to be good though. Yeah. So, this is. Have you seen this emotional support gator? <laughs> Wally's owner says he's lost in Georgia. So Wally. Yeah, Wally Gator. Wally the Gator. Yeah. That's a cool um. Joke. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yeah, Wally the Gator is an emotional support alligator. And uh, I guess he's missing. Um, I don't know who in the world. So it says Wally is missing in Georgia where his owner, Joey Henny, says he was kidnapped. Yeah. <laughs> he got kidnapped recovered, by a gator trapper. <laughs> recovered and released into a swamp. Henny and oh, Wally gone. were visiting friends in Brunswick when someone took the gator from his pen in the early morning hours of April 21st. The Wally Gator Facebook page posted on Saturday. He had his own there was a Wally was yeah. stolen by some jerk. <laughs> <laughs> there was a nuisance gator call, I believe. It right, it just and then, says by some jerk, which is pretty funny. Wally was stolen <clears throat> by some jerk who likes to drop alligators off into someone's yard to terrorize them. The account posted the following day. Once discovered, they called Department of Natural Resources (DNR). I thought that was do not resuscitate. <laughs> Then called a trapper. The trapper came and got Wally and dropped him off in the swamp with about 20 other alligators that Aww. same day. <clears throat> oh, man. Maybe he can go back he's to gone. the swamp and find him. Yeah, he's gone. And you tagged him? He's gone. And also, like, like, how is that possibly your emotional support animal? How do you have this dinosaur that you cuddle with? Look at him. There's a picture of him hugging this thing. He can't smell good or, I mean, that's or just, feel good. That's Which just one? ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I think that the gator. Is, that is ridiculous. But, you know, that's a good is, point. That thing's going to eat your face off That thing's probably point. dead. All right. The second, one on, the, <laughs> the second one on this list is Jeez. a Baltimore area teacher is accused of using AI to make his boss appear racist. <laughs> okay. I don't know, man. I just thought that Did was a funny headline. Did you read article? No, I, okay. I think so... High school athletic director is facing criminal charges after police say he used artificial intelligence to duplicate the voice of oh. Pikesville High School principal Eric Eiswert. That's leading yeah. the community to believe Eiswert said racist and anti Semitic things about teachers and students. Yep. Yeah. I mean that's kind of a thing where people have been doing the voice. I didn't know stuff, we I didn't crazy. know we had that. Yeah. Um Oh that? yeah, yeah, that's right. I didn't know that. Um, like they'll do a LeBron James uh press conference and Put different his voice in there, but it's different words and stuff like that. Yeah, you know, I mean, that's crazy. They can do that. Thinking about that, like, it's only a matter of time, man. Before we get tricked by a robot. No, oh, oh yeah. And Where's then, the plug? I'm pulling it. Everything be all right. And then it's over. Oh. It's over, man. It's over. You think? You think that's all we had to do? I don't know. Yeah. Depends where time will tell. If the robots we could, are made, we could start a podcast. Okay. We could start a podcast with us as AI voices. It, They'd probably do better. It job might be us. better. Yeah, yeah it'd probably be better. Yeah. 
Those are my two. Sorry, those are right. the top two on the list. You I did one. Job, okay. guys. I apologize. I had three, so you know I had one. I appreciate to, I had that. One to Thank share. you, Anthony. Thank you. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's all right. All right. I thought this one was kind of cool. It's not like a crazy, crazy headline, but it's kind of it's kind of interesting. Ultra rare fish almost never seen by humans washes uh, up on Oregon coast for the first time. Have you ever heard of? Did of you a, eat it? I would if it was uh, <laughs> if it was allowed. <laughs> Pacific football fish. Have you ever heard of this? Okay. Uh, Did they just let some kid name it? Do you have a no, this is it. This is what it's called. I do have a picture of it. Let me see the picture of the fish. <clears throat> Does it even look like a football? They're like, hey, Johnny, what should we name Ooh, this? I wouldn't eat that. I think we should call that football fish. <laughs> uh, He's doing here this it is. football. Hey, football fish. <laughs> I think a football makes so, sense. Oh, I would not eat that. <laughs> I thought Anthony had already eaten it, and that's why no. he's talking about it. It's been it. dead for Well, months. this one. Yeah, this one. But this thing lives like 3,000 feet Dang. in the water. Ugh. So that's why it's never seen. So the fish is Finding Nemo. You guys seen that movie, right? Mm. You know when he's down there hiding in the dark, and the fish with the, he's got the light? light. That's, that's what it is. That's, that's what, what it is. is. That fish is, I was like, that's, that, it's that fish is real? Its scientific name is football fish. Well, that's, that's well, what they're calling as of it. now. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> But dude, Wait, I mean, what is wrong with us? He has a light but, on his head. Yeah, look. I mean, you can see it. There's the yeah. little thing, the little light. That's it says he can activate that, and that's how like fish c- attract yeah. you. You're telling me but look we, at got the, a, we got a fish that got a lot that has a light yes. on its head, and we came up with football fish. But yeah. look you at the understand. teeth on that thing. Yeah, it's evil. Do you understand what goes on in the bottom of the ocean? It looks no, like an no alien one fish. Does. No, you don't want to. That's why when you get in it, it's a little I mean, creepy. it kind of does look. A, no, I mean, a, a deflated football. Maybe. No, I'm, I'm very like disappointed in the name of the fish. I, I just want to throw it out there. I guarantee you there's a better, they have another name there's for a, it. I'm sure there's a scientific name. Yeah. Light bulb. Light Flash bulb light. fish is yeah. better. Blinky. It's better. Blinky's better. Lightsaber <laughs> fish. So, <laughs> kinda, like that's that. a good it's kinda, one. Kinda, I, like I would not eat that fish. You know how right. you taste nasty. It probably sure. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. It eats, you know, who knows what it eats. But, I mean, if somebody like, I light you up. If somebody said, hey, oh, this is the best <laughs> delicacy fish on the planet, I'd eat it. And they're lying to you. Yeah, head and all. I'd have it like right on the whole fish, the, right? The reason, Teeth and hey, everything. Let me just, uh, the reason what? people say yeah. delicacy, the reason they say delicacy because it sucks. Yeah. They say delicacy so that you'll eat it and then pay more for it. Yep. I'm going to cook up something for him and say it's a delicacy. And here you go. <laughs> I'm going no. to cook an actual football <laughs> and tell you it's a delicacy. A little chewy. <laughs> oh, smoke rah, rah, smoke rah. football. Put some yeah. raspberry sauce on it. You're good to go. It tastes like yeah. pig skin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My next one. Paul Tagli. This, uh, this is a better he- headline. Skateboarding cat breaks speed record in China. Yeah. I like that. I like that. That's good. That's, yeah, yeah. I like that's that good. one. That's good. Uh, Would you eat the cat? Nah, probably not that one. <laughs> skateboarding cat still alive. showed off his skills in China and earned a Guinness World Record by skateboarding <laughs> distance of 32 feet, 9.2 inches in 12.85 seconds. The That's cat has good. more records than me. Bao Z. Bao Bao Z. B A O Z space Z I. It's an American short hair cat that broke the record. He's an American short hair cat? Yep. American, so American <laughs> cat in China. China. Breaking just, records. Yep. Just a regular cat, right? Uh huh. But it's like, what's up, dudes? <laughs> his owner is a professional dog trainer, not a cat trainer. Mm. But uh, so he's probably gonna die. So he said his original intention when he brought the cat home was to help it eat rodents, mm-hmm. to get rid of. <laughs> to get rid next of rodents. thing you know, it's skateboarding around. <laughs> yeah. Next thing you know, he trained it up, and, and now had it's, to learn adapt, adapt and survive. Yeah, that's right. He's like, man, this old guy's gonna get rid of me if I yep. don't. I so it kind of made me laugh. He run to Key West. No. So there's, I don't know if the guy's still there, but they have Sunset Pier. So every night during sunset, right, because they have this, act, they have like, um, what do you got? People go out there and just like try to like get tips, right? Performers, street yeah, performers. performers. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. All over the pier. I mean, it's been going on forever. But this one guy, he's a crazy cat guy, they called him. And he would do like, he would do like Tiger Show, but with house cats. So like, Literally, like hula hoops on fire, like rings of fire, and the cats are jumping through them, and like legit, like That's solid I circus like tiger show with house cats, and just like killed it. Yeah, for like tw- somebody said he's been out there like twenty years. So, I don't know. It kind of made me think of the cat guy in Key yeah. West when I saw that. It's so. interesting. It made me think of the guy that I had on my last crazy headline: ran a marathon while he was smoking in China. 
Oh yeah, that's right. So I that, do remember that. So yeah. that cat was smoking. I bet there That'd is be a, awesome. a website, Crazy China Headlines. Has to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Probably one for Mississippi too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There is. <laughs> it was one for Florida for sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there is. We yeah. That one. yeah, it was one for Florida sure. Okay, that was fun. Right. I like Crazy Headlines. Yeah, that's fun. I like that. I still am very, very disappointed in the fish name. That is. That's I'm, not true. That's just an article. I'm hung up on that. I mean, I don't know. I'm gonna look it up. All right, well, you're looking it up. That all. I'm going to lead us into something real quick before Anthony closes this out. Yeah, yeah. What's your idea? Let's so, hear this. when I was researching for um, funny headlines, I came across funny church billboards. Oh, oh yeah, I like yeah. that. So That's I just cool. wrote down a couple real quick. These, right, are, like these were not the best because I want to save better ones for later. I like but that. But these are just a couple. <clears throat> so these are billboards, like, like the sign, driving, old school signs yeah, out there. You're driving yeah, yeah. by the church, yeah, and they have this on there. Mm-hmm. Right. I've seen a few of those on like some of them. They're hilarious. Yeah. Our sign is broke. Come inside for the message. That's one. <laughs> That's and again, good. There's better ones. I just yeah, I like that. I like that. <laughs> no SPF needed to spend time with the sun. S O N. Oh, that yeah, speaks yeah, yeah. to me. I mean, that makes me want. Yeah, yeah I like that. Call nine one one. Our pastor is on fire. <laughs> so that's <laughs> something maybe we fire. can uh, look at next time. To Mike Benson, get on it. All right, we don't, have a, we don't have a sign like that. I like that. Ah. I like the billboard thing. Yeah. That's a good one. Let's There's do that. There's not very many churches have those anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I uh, the I like dental that. office right up the road has. Uh, they, they try to be funny under jokes. Yeah, I, that's, I found it here too. Football fish, one word. Football fish. Yeah, scientific name, Hymenopophus <laughs> sagamias. I still just don't know how even you got to the not, like yeah, it's the football. I fish. mean, that looks more like a football fish than the picture he had. Yes, it's got a light on its head to kill things. Well, the light just attracts it, so he well, eats it. I know, them. I know. Yeah, the light. <laughs> it's pretty dark now, 3,000 feet down in uh, the water. Yeah, last time I was there, it was pretty dark. I would never do that. <laughs> I won't go to space, and I won't go to the ocean. I mean, who no. knows, like, the... They don't. People are saying answer. that, like, I was reading into this, like, we know more about space than we do, like, at the bottom of the ocean, mm-hmm. because you can't get to it. I don't know. I think they know more about both. They just don't tell us. Aliens. I don't know. That looks like an alien fish. It is an alien fish. Yeah, dude, there's stuff down there though. And then we gave it the scary stuff. We gave it the dumbest name. Yeah. Well, think about like in the some of those really cold waters down there, and the mm-hmm. ooh, ooh, there's squid down there the size of this house. Mm-hmm. Are bigger mm-hmm. with one eye. How did football fish get his name? <laughs> We're live, boys. Yeah, <laughs> he's intrigued here. All right, I'm going to close this out. Okay. If, you, if you find it and get us some good information, then you just tell us. So, I'm going to close this out with hospitality. I know it's one area that I have struggled in my life, and um, to really be uh, hospitable, I guess, is biblical, as it says. So, I mean, you guys can relate, I'm going to guess, in, in that area, right? Uh, I, got a, I got a few verses to... Uh, just tell us about what biblical hospitality uh, can look like. Yeah, it's tough. Um, let's see here. In Romans, it says, Contribute to the needs of the saints and seek to show hospitality. Do not, uh, let's see, this is in Hebrews. Do not forget to show hospitality to strangers, for by doing some people, by doing so, let me see here, sorry. Do not forget to show hospitality to strangers, for by so doing, some people have shown hospitality to angels without knowing it. Uh, this is in First Peter. Offer hospitality to one another without grumbling. Right, That one's mm-hmm. stood out to me quite mm-hmm. a bit. But when you give a banquet, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, and the blind. So um, I know to me, I can definitely be a grumbler on some things, especially open up you know, my home and being inconvenience and things like that. But I think it's a good reminder to me. It's been kind of been on my heart to just reiterate this, you know, just me, even just myself, right. To say, Hey, this is, this is how I need to be. God calls me to be this way as a Christian and hospitality is not just shown to our friends, right? Mm-hmm. That's not hospital. That's not just what hospitality means. Like, Hey, yeah, Adam, Lucas, I'm gonna invite this big meal over, right. It's to, People you don't know at all, to the poor, to strangers, to people you don't even like, right? Um, we're called to show hospitality to. 
and do it in a way that brings joy to them and you, right? Because mm. when you're hosp- uh, when you show hospitality to somebody, they're supposed to be felt welcoming and warmed, and you know you should be there to encourage and build them up as well, right? And yourself should be encouraged and built up while you're doing it, right? You mm. should be feeding off that. So um, here are four uh, reminders to help guide our understanding of biblical hospitality. Uh, Christian hospitality is an expression of love, right? Showing love to others, and like I said, encouraging, building them up, um, them, and it should bring love to you too, I believe, right? It should be a two-way street is how I, I feel like really biblically what God wants that to look like, right? Not just an inconvenience and a grumbling to you, but you put on a mask to make somebody else feel good. You both, I feel like, should be feeling that love connection of hospitality. Mm-hmm. Um, Christian hospitality fosters selfishness, right? So, uh, the opposite of selfishness and to really, you know, be inconvenienced and do it with joy to bring joy to others. Christian hospitality provides refuge, um, right? It, um, Christian homes must be a place that are spiritually safe to confess weakness and sin, finding real help in the context of biblical love and really opening your house to make people feel welcome, encouraged, built up, all those things in a place maybe where, you know, they can um, confess sins and, you know, whatever that may look like for them, right? It's going to be look different to everybody else. Christian, Christian hospitality deepens fellowship, right? The main thing is it brings uh, God's people, or even if they're not God's people, it should bring fellowship, you know, to that person, which could turn them into um, being a Christian or hearing God's word and opening mm-hmm. things like that. So that's just a good reminder for myself and uh, to really, you know, especially not grumble, I think for me to to do it with love and joy and to do so because God says to do so. Yeah, that's good. It's, good. it's hard. <clears throat> I told that's you I, we have a whole Bible study on it because... Yep. I think it's just not our nature. I think of our neighbors is what I think of. Mm-hmm. It's like, eh, I'm yep. very convicted about that. Do you know all your neighbors' names? Nope. I mean, wait. Yeah, I mean, immediate neighbors, I know their names, yeah. but I don't, like, we don't do anything with them, really. It's it's uh, it's awful. Mm-hmm. Awful. Yeah, growing yeah. up, I knew everybody in our neighborhood, basically, yeah. right? I can still see their houses. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now it's just like, well, we stay in our little bubble. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I know our neighbors... Some of them, but I don't know, like the whole neighborhood. Sure. Like, we, we kind of closed off, right? We mm-hmm. kind of, and, and honestly, we're, my wife and I are not, like, we're not the biggest entertainers. Um, and I think we use all kinds of excuses to not open our home. So, like, we're not, you know, prepare a big meal. I know Anthony enjoys that. We're not that kind of folks. Uh, but we do love, like, we love people. But we do kind of use some excuses to, like, just not, mm-hmm. man, we got to clean the house. We got to, you know, it's just... You know, I think it's also just being open to not doing all those silly mm-hmm. things, like pretending like you don't live in your home mm-hmm. so people can come over. Um, I don't know. We put a lot of pressure on ourselves to be kind of oddly perfect sometimes. Yep. No, that's good. What was your first point you said? I think it was like the mutual love kind of situation. I do think um, of the four points. And I, the only reason I want to say Christian hospitality this, is an expression of love. Expression of love. And I think you, you said you want to, you know, it should be received back to yep. the person. I, I do think, I'll say yes, I agree with that. But I also think there's an opportunity. Um, and I can, I can say this in my own life where sometimes showing hospitality to those that you know are not going to reciprocate, even when they're in your home, mm-hmm. uh, can be a little problematic. Uh, it can go a long way to kind of show... Um, you know, it's sacrificial love or, yeah. or some of that mm-hmm. grace that God shows us. And so I would encourage that. I, I know we all have family members that we probably don't get along with the greatest um, or even friends or, or spouses of friends or, or whatever, right? Like it, and I think the opportunity to show that hospitality um, can go a long way and mm-hmm. just for your own heart yeah. and, and even if it doesn't do anything for them, right? Mm-hmm. So I'd, I would say that I think you're right. I think you can go a step further too um, mm-hmm. with that. It's so it's good. Yep, it's good. Anyway, I like it, man. That's a good thought. Hospitality. Hospitable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's good. It's hard. All right. Mm-hmm. You guys good? I'm good. Until next time. Adios. See you. See you.